hello and welcome to this video in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to create kafka producer consumer in java as demo we will build a chat application so first we will create a kafka environment on our local machine and then we will create ui with javafx at the end we will implement the kafka producer consumer so let's get started first we need to download the kafka software from apache official page at the time of recording this video this is the latest version after that we will extract the tar file local machine using the terminal so let's load the file using this command now let's extract the file after getting the binary, we will run Kafka using Zookeeper. So first we need to run Zookeeper. We don't need to install it because there is one version included in this package and we run it with this command. And after that in a new terminal, we will run Kafka server using this configuration file. And in separate terminal, we will create a topic that will be used by our program. Using this command, name it my topic so let's run zookeeper using that command and as you see zookeeper is running now after that we open a new terminal we run kafka server using this command and you see the server is up and running now we will create a topic so we need to open a new terminal using this command we create a topic with this name my topic so let's run as you see topic has been created in IntelliJ we will create the java application that will interact with kafka message broker for that we go to file new project and we will choose java fx as template and we will give it as name and you adjust the group Next, we can choose this one, fxgl, and create. So as you see, project has been created, and IntelliJ automatically create template. Let's rename this controller, this hello application. This is the main application. As you see here, it has a main method, and call the launch from the application that belongs to JavaFX. So let's refactor the name. And we do the same for the hello controller and the view is included in this file you can use same builder to design the page i already did that let me show you so using same builder you can design your page in our example it is a pretty simple one it consists only of two components text area and text field as you see here so we can run this program so let's go here just to have an idea about the application and you see this is the application we will enter information here that will be sent to the kafka message broker and this will read the message from kafka so let's customize the application now let's implement a client that interacts with kafka broker for that we will add a new class we call it kafka client apache kafka provided high level utilities so let's add this dependency in our pom file so this is kafka client from apache kafka we reload our project in the client we need a consumer and producer so let's define the consumer provided by the new dependency we need only to import this one we add it to our module so this has added this dependency here as you see requires kafka so this is the consumer we need also a producer also included in kafka library now let's define some constant to access our local instance first the bootstrap server we define this variable server we will try to get this information from the environment variable parameter is available otherwise we will use this default value after that we need this variable our topic we need also a group this is the client identifier we call it group id and we get this information otherwise it will be the default value of my group then we need an instance of this class this should be a singleton 
this is our instance and we add a method to get the instance and we have to find constructor we have to create this property properties to hold all this information and we add all these arguments needed to establish connection to the server so as you see we instantiated the consumer here and we subscribe this client to our server and I defined also the producer and all this happen in the constructor so we can make those here final so now having this consumer and producer in our class let's write two methods to send the information and receive the information from the kafka message broker so first we create this method we need to create the message and we define the topic so we will send information to a specific topic the group id is under which this client is subscribed and the message now we call this utility this method will send an information to kafka broker write a method to consume the message from the kafka broker so let define it it return all messages as consumer records and we define a timeout here and a second and the last method we need to interact with the broker is this one so now in the ui we can use this client so first of all we will create an instance of our client and then in our view we have these two components mean area and input let's define them here and we can recycle this and in our method whenever we click enter on the input field we will use the client and send the information to the server and in the main application so when the ui is started we need to read the information from kafka server into this main area and for that so just after this first we again define our text area it, this is the name in the view however the updates of this area should happen in parallel so therefore we run this in its own tree so let's define tree so inside this run method we define a loop so let's define a client the instance of our client inside this tree we read all messages using this method and we go through all messages and we add it to the main area and after that we sleep the job for 200 milliseconds we start the tree are almost done so let's run the program and test if it works the application is running let test and you see it is working we send a message to kafka server and this text area read all messages back from the server so what we can do now let's run this client in two sessions to demonstrate this effect and for that we will create a jar file with all its dependency so we define an entry point here with a mean method in our pom file we will add this at this plugin to create an executable jar file so in plugin here and this is our main class entry point so le let's create the package and we run this file run the first instance and here we have the first instance let's run a second one a new window and this is the second instance and let's see what happens when we write something here and you see 
this is Peter and this is Max. We have implemented a shared application, so you will find the code in GitHub. So I hope this was helpful for you. Thanks for watching and bye.